What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different as you can see by the title. It is a what's in my tackle box and this is the trout version. So I do wanna say something before I get started. If this video gets 25 likes, uh, leave a like down below if you enjoyed it. If you wanna see a bass version of this video and the reason I'm asking for you to like is because there's no other way for me to know if you guys really enjoyed the video. So that's the easiest way for me to know if you wanna get, um, if you wanna see what's in my tackle box bass version. So trout version because I just posted a trout video so I felt like it just went along with it. So uh, first things first, something I always have with me, a net. The reason I always have a net with me, I just hit myself in the face, is because um, the net is extremely helpful when catching the fish. You always wanna catch a, a trout in a net and the reason is because they have an oil on their skin that we can be taken off by our fingers and also it's just a lot more secure that way to secure your catch. So always do that so you don't lose your catch because that sucks and we all know that feeling. Um, second thing, the tackle box itself. So this is a fish pond fanny pack tackle box. If you do not have a fanny pack tackle box and you are doing uh, wading through rivers, through streams, fishing, I highly, 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 cannot stress enough, recommend one of these. And the reason that is is because it is amazing and extremely, extremely, extremely helpful when you are, um, Standing in the river, you know, you need to change your bait, you accidentally break off, you get stuck in a tree, anything, honestly, anywhere, this is really helpful because you can put a few of your favorite baits in it and then you can just really easily um, wear it around your waist, flip it around where it, so it's not in front so it doesn't bother you and then flip it around when you need it and that is amazing and extremely helpful. So that being said, um, the two things that are on the outside of my tackle box, right here we just have a pen knife, a regular pen knife, I'm not really going to get into that, it was just a cheap one I bought at a store at the beach. And then I have this, which is a huge help for anyone who is fishing. Um, whenever you have to tie on a new bait or anything, this can cut the line. They're just little clippers and they're on a retractable thing. So it just goes back and that is amazing and extremely helpful. That way you don't have to bite it or keep a knife with you uh, because we know that it can be a little bit dangerous to get a knife out while you're in the middle of a river or holding your um, fishing pole. You don't have enough hands. So this is a lot easier. So getting into the pockets there are two pockets the first pocket what we have is just my trout license and the reason i have that is because all of you should have well it's a, a fishing license with a trout stamp if you're going trout fishing you always need a trout stamp at least in west virginia and you need a license so it's extremely important to have your license i would rather buy the license than get fined because we all know that sucks also another thing i always keep in there is my phone and then a gopro battery because when i'm recording this is waterproof so safest place to keep it all right, getting into the good stuff now. So how this is gonna work is I'm gonna show you the bait and then it will clip to um, footage of it going in the water behind me in the pool. I'm gonna put my GoPro in and show you the underwater footage because when picking out a bait, I believe that's extremely important. So first thing first, I'm not gonna go through all of this, but it is a trout magnet um, or some bobbers. And then it comes with all different colors of these little worms. Um, this actually isn't a part of the kit. Uh, that is a trout magnet worm, though. And then it comes with these little jig heads, which uh, are extremely important. I use the gold mostly. No particular reason. I just like it best. I have never actually caught anything on this, but I know that a lot of people have. That's why I bought the bigger kit, because I'm just getting started. So first, I just have this white uh, rooster tail, I believe it's called. I don't have... Yeah, rooster tail. I don't know what brand this is. Um, this is one that I've had for a long time, and that is why. And then here we have three Joe's flies. So the first one um, is a size zero. The collars. The second one also a size zero. And then this one is a size one. It doesn't actually have any fly. And then we have this little not a spinner but it is a little bait um and i got this out of a mystery tackle box i don't remember what brand it is but i thought it would be pretty good because it looks like a little shad and then we just have a little spoon um yep and then going back in to a joe's fly this is Another one, size one. Oh, just kidding, it's not Joe's fly. This is a size zero Mepsigalia. My bad, yeah, my bad. 
and then we get another spoon. I have a ton of these because I think they work the best. This one I actually found along a river, so I have no clue what brand it is, but yeah. And then we have another one, uh, like the one I showed you earlier, a Mepsigalia size one. And then actually on my rod currently, I have a Joe's fly size three and a half. Um, I found this one in the river as well. <laughs> I uh, went in to get one of my baits and this one was in there. So I just grabbed it and it was working pretty well for me. So I just left it on. So getting back into the meat of the tackle box, um, a bunch of different hooks. I've got some um, treble hooks and then some regular hooks. Here, these two. And then got a pair of pliers in case it swallows it. That's extremely important as well. Uh, and then a stringer, which is also really important if you plan on keeping them. And then we've got some uh, Freaky Franks. These are, I don't know, they're white. I don't know, the name isn't on, but they're just little, little worms with a little tail thing. And then, of course, some salmon eggs, the uh, UV Glow salmon eggs. I ordered some white ones. Uh, according to a small store near where I live, um, Orgo Fishing, they said that the white ones have been working the best, so I ordered some of those. And then we've got some gulp little minnows, black shad. And I just put these on one of those trout magnet um, jig heads that you saw earlier. And then we have a Fire Tiger Ripple Shad Power Bait. Same thing, I put it on one of those little jig heads. And then we've got some more eggs and we have some honey worms, uh, Power Bait Honey Worms, which I also, I know these actually, I put these, um, I'm sorry, the, a notification that my phone is at 20% came up. I put these on the treble hook, one of the hooks, because the other two tend to grab the fish whenever it hits. And then another set of the Freaky Franks white. And then we've just got some tiny, 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 tiny little weights. So that, oh, it's actually not everything. I have some, um, bullet weights, the smallest size I can find in those, and then some trout worms in this purple collar from the Trout Magnet brand. So that is all that is in here. I don't keep very much in here, but that, those are all of my best baits um, for trout fishing. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this video was able to help you. Like I said, if this video gets 25 likes, I would do another one of these in the bass fishing uh, variation. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't have a whole lot of trout experience. I don't have a whole lot of trout bait. So I can't say that this is the best bait, but I can say that um, one of these little golden spinners has worked for me. I caught that golden trout that you guys saw in my last video on that. So that all being said, I hope you guys have a good day. God bless. Okay, so today I'd like to do something a little bit different. In all my videos, I've been giving you guys a verse and telling you what I think about it. But today, I'm going to tell you a verse, and I would like for you guys to put in the comments what you think about it, or at least just reflect on it for a little bit. So this is um, 1 Samuel uh, chapter 3, verse 9, and it says, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So I just want you guys to take that and think about it for a little bit. Pray about it for a little bit. Comment if you want to. Let me know what you think. DM me on Instagram. Let me know what you think. But I want you guys to think about this on your own without me having any input. So I hope you guys had a good day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, God bless.